Hey, so I wanted to show you what I love about Schoology just because you never come in my room and if you do you're like there for like two minutes. So I've been setting up some assessments on Schoology so I'm going to show you my favorite new one that I found. I'm just really that excited about it. So today is Wednesday. I'm going to go to my math lesson and you can see I can differentiate the work. This is group A and group B. They have different work. Um, group B has a little harder work than group A. I don't have a lot, a lot of groups because I'm still learning the children, but I set up this assignment and you can see I need to grade part of it. So I'm going to click on that and this is a... Um, this is an assignment where the students had to use a broken number line and they had to jump forward and backward on it. So as you can see, the screen is already moving. I can look at their work and I can see exactly what they did in a way that I can't see it virtually through just a picture. So I'm going to push replay right here. And you see, now I know the kids are still getting used to manipulating the pencil. Um, on the screen. So I know that's going to be just a learning curve right now. But even this child, he got better as he went backwards. And so now when I watch this, I know where he started. In the problem, it told me to, or it told the students to start on number 23. The student didn't even do that. So now when I make comments, I can say, you didn't start at 23. He didn't make really clearly defined hops. So it's a little bit hard to tell on the way forward, but he, I, if I could have seen it a little better if they were more used to it, so this was like literally their first time using this assi ass assessment, I could have seen if he did five hops going there, even if they were off. So then if I look backwards, I can see he made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hops going backwards but some of his hops were exactly in between each centimeter tally mark. I mean, they kind of were actually now that I look at it more. So like this went from 30 to 29 to 28 to 27. Yeah, so he was he did them backwards okay. So doing forwards, um, they, he got off. And the biggest problem was he didn't start at 23 like the direction stated. And like I stated in class. Also, on these assessments, I can... Um, add an audio recording and if they push play it's me giving them the directions or reading the problem to them and with the differentiated kids the kids that are a little bit lower I do some explaining then just read the question so I'll read the question and then I'll explain it and then let them get to work so you can see like with if we go to group A what did I have them do for this one so these students, I just told them to hop forward five times, so I didn't tell them to hop backwards. So you can see that one, two, three, four, five, and that student did exactly what I wanted. So um, you can differentiate on Schoology, and then like, um, I was so excited about this that I did it for a reading as well. So for reading, um, the kids are supposed to divide words into syllables. So if I go to Wednesday's reading, um, we can go to group B again. So they have a very specific um, way that I tell them to um, break the words into syllables. I do the Orton, Gill Orton Gillingham stuff that I learned this semester or last summer. So they're supposed to put dots under the vowels and then label the consonants and um, things like that. And then label them as closed and open and I can see what exactly they're doing where at home if I ask them just to hold up their work I don't always see that I, I can't see all the little details about their work if I just say hold it up to a screen but here I can so this student who's a pretty good reader he probably knew the word and he probably just divided it real, first real fast which is really the last step and then he put dots over the um, vowels probably just to make me happy but he didn't label them as closed or open so I can see what he's doing um, 
some kids, um, like this kid did a little bit more. So she put the dots first, then she labeled the consonants, and then she divided it, but she didn't put closed and open syllables. So um, now I can give more detailed feedback based on what they did, and I can see what they're doing, whereas I'm having trouble seeing what they're doing through a screen or on their desk when they're just working. So the student right here, I'm going to replay what he did. So he, let me replay that. So he divided it first and then he labeled it. So that's the first error I see. And then he says that the first syllable is open, which it's not. And he says the second syllable is closed. I'm assuming that C is for closed. So um, this is my new favorite way to assess kids. So there's also, you know, you could do multiple choice or essay questions or fill in the blank. There's so many different assessments on Schoology, it's ridiculous. So I just wanted to share that because you never come into my room, but that's okay, I still love you. Okay, bye.